hello guys hope all is well in the previous video we learned how we will write xpath expression according to our target data in this video we will include this xpath expression in the vba code template and save our target data in sheets like in this column column a for code and column b for author so let's move toward so this is the xpath expression here and before include it in VBA code template I want to share something with you about the selenium how selenium provide different ways to select the element in which we are interested so when I write drive.find and you can see here it shows a list find element by class name by CC selector by ID etc uh, instead of focusing on each I will focus on these two find elements by xpath and driver.find element by xpath the difference between these two the first one have s and the second not so the first one is for multiple element selection and the second one is for single so it's like the all in one package instead of focusing on driver dot find element by id css selector etc just once you learn this too you are hero in xpath expression this is my experience during my life i feel that it save a lot of time with the time you will learn also those but to saving time and learn quick so focus on this and i have already share in the previous video the general syntax for xpath expression and how you will play with this attribute to select your data and one of whoever his name is Siddharth he told me that make a video with example of xpath so I am will soon make my own template with the difficult type of elements I will make the template by myself and share it with you people so you will learn a lot of difficult expert expression how you will simply easily with the help of these two you can extract it data in which you are interested so now in this video we will use both these of this for multiple and this for single so let moves toward our code so this is the template I have already shared in the third video of this playlist that it is mandatory for each website and this is the and this line of code is just to close the chrome automatically and I have declared dim ELE this is for just uh, object accessing each element from group of elements so here in this case now we have 10 containers so we will use for each loop for this so let's move for each ELE and then in driver that find elements by xpath because more than one and then next ELE and here place parenthesis double quote and then close so here we will place our xpath expression control a control c and place it here now this will select all of the 10 container and for each loop moves on each iteration one by one now our second goal is to inside each container select the quote and author name so for this we write in chrome like single slash and then the 
name is span so when I write span it select 20 so 20 is because on each container two span one for quotes and one for other names so 10 multiplied 2 is equal to 20 and we are interested in each individually so here I write bracket and then the index one for in this case the first span is for quotes when I hover or the mouse you can see here it's marked blue the quote when I move toward the second it's mark blue the other name so when I place here one and then close the bracket it's select 10 so the first these 10 span with index 1 are the span for quotes and when I replace this one by 2 so it select the span for others so how we will include this to select the child in VBA with selenium so now here we will do it this is the parent so ELE for each we will place in empty row so for this the VBA provide this line of code I want to save the time control C and paste it here this is just for to identify the empty row and then I want to save it in sheet 1 so sheets sheet 1 and then cells e row one for the code and then ele now i will use the find element element by x but because in this case one in each container one span for code and one for the other name so that's so why i include here elements not elements and then this and here I replace driver by ELE -E -E because driver is for the whole HTML element while we are now interested in container so we will use ELE -E. and then dot double slash and then span and the index is one for quotes and then close close and then dot text so for the other name just copy this control C and pass it here and remove this one by two and this pane also by two now it is done so when I run the code these two column are fill up to 11 so let's run it now it is running once it's done it will close actually now it's closed so it's mean done and you can see here now the code and the other name hope you guys enjoy this video uh, in the next video i will move toward the pagination in this we have to just scrape the single page in the next video we will move to this pagination and extract all the codes and the other name if you like this video kindly share it and subscribe my channel for more video thanks